Welcome back to Kermit D's Reviews and Rants. Tonight we have something a little bit different. We're going to have how not to grow on YouTube and exposing a troll or trolls. Multiple pages. This dude isn't nothing but going out trying to cause trouble. This ain't what you want to do to grow your channel on YouTube. And you can tell that by looking at his subscribers with multiple channels, and he's barely got 10 on any of them. So he's doing something wrong. So there you go. I want to give a shout out to Press On, Tyrant Slayer Studios, Bay Area Transparency, Joe Cool, News Now Patrick, The Batusi, Eli, and P Pissed Off Taxpayer. So there you go, people. Let's watch How Not to Grow on YouTube. And now let's go audit the troll, reviewing the trolls. Let's go. Started with today's idiot, I have something amusing to show you. We all know that sovereign citizens are stupid people who think that they're smart. And I found a great example of this. Let's take a look at the channel Press On who for some reason decided to name his channel after artificial lady's fingernails. But I digress. Now on to today's idiot. He is called Tyrant Slayer Studios, and he sets what I can say with confidence is the world's record for the most bad predictions in the shortest period of time. This is going to be a fun one. What's going on everybody? It's your favorite Mandalorian, your Mando Mike. I am coming with you with four separate videos off of one stupid frauditor's video. And normally I wouldn't even go that far, but there's just so much stupid in this that it just wouldn't do it justice to try to cut it up into one or two videos. Uh, so this guy is Bay Area Transparency out of California. Uh, if you watch all four, I thank you from the bottom of my heart, and I would suggest you have a strong drink and a lot of aspirin. Uh, also, this guy does... All right, Bay Fam, here we go. We're going up to this building now. This is the administrative building. All right, all right. We just got done with the dog probation. They failed miserably. So, so what? One jack has moved for the day wasn't enough. You have to do another? Dumbass. Let's see how these guys do, Bay. The screens, it's a little different. Oh, yeah, I was just taking pictures of the office. Just well, checking well, you guys well, out. Those are not allowed in here. Oh, well, why not, though? You seriously cannot be that much of a dumbass. Okay, first off, you lied to him. Secondly, he already told you why, you dumbass. Because there's... So I'm just going to look at some of this stuff back here. Now, hold on one second. I thought you said that you wanted forms, and even after being an ass to him, he's still actually offering to help you. I mean, if you don't know why you're here... I know why I'm here. What I just do don't need for? to... I don't want to answer you to why I'm here. Listen, bub. You really should not be making fun of those people because those people are actually you. So, in other words, you're laughing at yourself, dumbass. You really need to get some freaking help. Like, why should I have to answer you for that? Because you made a stop and I stopped. You obviously don't know why you're here. <laughs> I obviously don't know why I'm here. I know why I'm here. So the tell problem me, is, is, is tell me what you form. don't know why I'm tell here. Tell me what form <laughs> you're looking for. I'm going to get some forms. That's it. For what? That's it. That's all. I don't want to talk about it. Like... Do you seriously call being a lying asshole being polite? I mean, come on, dude. Seriously. Can I get some forms? I don't need your assistance. You, you are Did not I allowed tell to you take... not to touch me? You said you're taking pictures of flags. You don't touch me. You, you don't touch me. Please leave. Don't touch me. Please leave. Don't Security. touch me. Please leave. Do not touch Did me. Did I just say All right, now, everybody, I want you to look at this. We're six minutes, 54 seconds into his video. He has now been asked four times to leave. Pretty much by every state's definition, that is trespassing. Yet this jackass still thinks he's in the right. Please Did leave. you just try to grab my phone and touch me? You aren't, right? Absolutely <laughs> do yes, not sir. touch me. You? Thank you. How are you, sir? I'm all right. Deputy Laponovich, Nevis Sheriff's Office, how can I help you? I don't need your help. That's it. Okay. Oh, you sure grabbed me, bud. Man, I'll tell you what, that was uh, very convenient that your camera somehow just cut off after the cops got there and started talking to you. Come on, man. We're not that stupid. I'm like you. And Turner's talking to him right now. Good job. You should go assist. So I'm here for an investigation of a disturbance. Okay. And you're causing the disturbance. 
So how, what I'm asking you right now is who you are. How am I causing the disturbance? Well, let me see if I can answer so that a simpleton like you can actually understand it. You record sensitive data. You harass people. You being big asshole. I don't know. That's if you don't if you don't know, then can that video had more views than his. Let's take take a look at this idiot thing too. This is where I found the video in question. It's a channel by the name of Auditing Chicago. Nobody. That is not a crime, and you're telling me to get out of my vehicle. Uh, if you didn't know, I went to the police academy and they kicked me out. That's my purse. I don't know you. Spit me in my face right now. Keep spit in my face. Our video today takes us to Chicago, Illinois, and before we begin that video, I have to say that this moron, this idiot, this imbecile, this dimwit whatever you like to refer to him as, decided to file a false copyright strike against my channel. That was on November 30th. Today, two weeks later, it finally went back up. Now you see how long these copyright strikes can keep a channel down? It wasn't the entire channel, it was just one video. But I think he was butthurt because my video had more views than his. Let's take a look at this idiot that I'm referring to. This is where I found the video in question. It's a channel by the name of Auditing Chicago. Now at the time that I got the video, they had about 130 subscribers. I see they've jumped up to 282. Well, good for them. Maybe they'll monetize eventually. But the video that I captured apparently wasn't from Auditing Chicago. It was from another moron in Chicago that goes by the name of Joe Cool. Let's take a quick look at his channel. So here we have Joe Cool. Yeah, he's real cool, all right. He's a cop hater through and through. Now, what brought these guys uh, to my attention was that they claim to be ex-military. They are cop haters. They absolutely positively no respect for authority so it makes me wonder all right if you're ex-military were you uh kicked out of the military perhaps you have a, a dishonorable discharge perhaps because i can't believe that you would talk to your di like that there's no way you would use that language anywhere in the military yeah so anyway uh these guys got butt hurt and they filed a false copyright strike. Let me show you an email I sent these yahoos. Now, I don't want to dox anyone, so I've taken out all the identifying information. I took out his email address and his name. But uh, we can say his first name is Joe. We can say that. Yep, his first name is Joe. And I wrote him a very nice letter. You can see uh, I was professional. I didn't use any smart language. Of course, I never heard back from him because I've written letters before and people never respond. So what can you say? It is what it is. They want to protect First Amendment rights, but they don't want anybody to talk badly about them. So now that the video has been restored to my channel, I'm going to borrow a page from Schrodinger's cat channel and what he calls the PayPal patty treatment. Anybody watching this video is free to mirror the video. As a matter of fact, you can monetize it for your own channel and make a few dollars. I don't care. I give you permission to do that. You can change any part of the video you want. You can take out my intro and put your own intro in there. I want this idiot to know what an idiot he really is. I'm not sure, but I think it's that guy on the left-hand side holding the camera, or else it's the guy behind the camera that we never see and has a machine gun laugh. He sounds a lot like Glenn Serio and a, a mix of uh, Furry Potato and Silence Boy, a mix of all those guys together. That's what he sounds like when he laughs. But you take my video and make it your own. Make some money on it. Yeah, let's make sure this guy stays butthurt. So now I present the original video in its entirety for your viewing pleasure. Enjoy. Our video today takes us to Louisville, Kentucky.
at least I believe so. This is the channel Auditing Chicago. Must have been on vacation or paying a visit to one of his fellow frauditors or cop haters. At any rate, enjoy! I pay for that uniform, I pay for that car, I'm the taxpayer, right? Hi folks. I'm the kind of guy who gives credit where credit is due. And there's an auditor out there who deserves credit. As you know, I'm battling for the life of my main channel because of false copyright strikes. So imagine my surprise when the Batusi, one of the people who struck my channel, sent me this email. And imagine my greater surprise when he actually followed through. My friend, we may disagree on a lot of things, but nobody can ever say that you're not a stand-up dude. But today we have two dummies that aren't stand-up dudes. And they get arrested because they're dummies. First up, we have a frauditor who calls himself Eli. He turns a littering citation into a trip to jail. Evening, officer. My name is Thompson Police Department. Hello, how you doing? License, registration, insurance. Yes, sir. How you doing? Look at this guy. Look at this guy. How you doing, bro? How's it going, man? All right, you've been recorded, right? Huh? You've been recorded, okay? Okay, me too. Okay. Gotcha. You got me. All right, reason I'm stopping you, man. A couple things. You mind just rolling this down a little bit? All right, man. First thing. You cross over the center line at least three occasions, all right? Excuse me? You cross over the center line, double yellow lines, at least three occasions. Okay. Second thing is the reason I'm stopping you, really, is your partner over here just throwing stuff out the window. I don't know what it was. You threw out, like, a packaging or something, all wrappers right. or whatever. Yes? Yes, what? I'm talking to you. You talking to me? Yeah, you threw something out the window. You tell me? Yeah, I'm telling you. What did I throw out the window? Packaging. A package of what? I don't know. How can yeah, I? So if you don't know, what is wrong with you? Come okay, on, Okay, you got your license on you, bud? Who? You. Who? You. License? Your ID. I don't drive. No, I don't have ID. Uh, okay, do you have an ID? No, sir. You have no ID in this country. What? You have no ID at all. In this country? Yeah. Of course. Okay. I'm so American. Where, where is it? In my house. Why is it at your house? Oh, this guy. If he's not driving, he doesn't have to have a license with him. But he will have to give his name and date of birth if he's getting a ticket for littering. I gotta have it on me? So this is the thing. You're littering, so you committed a crime, I need to identify... Littering you what? A rapper? I don't know what it was. So if you don't know, how am I littering? Okay, listen. You need to take it from, like, up here to down here, okay, all right? Okay, I did. Okay. I need to know what you're throwing out the window. You need Maybe to know what I'm throwing out the window, but you gotta package. walk back there and find out. And then you could charge me or something. Okay, listen, bud. I need your ID. I just told you. What's your name and date of birth? I need that information. Yeah, I can give you that information. Oh, okay. You're making this a little bit harder than it really has to be, I'll be honest Why with you, Why would I right? make it that harder? Because I'm recording you? Say again? Is that because I'm, I'm recording you? No, me? I can care less about you recording me, but what you're doing is your attitude, you know what I mean? No, you're getting mad at me no, because no, you're I'm not mad at you. I'm not mad at you. You're telling me I threw something out the window, then you're saying it's a package, then you're saying you don't know. You're something out the window. You heard what I said? What do you think? I caught it? But you heard what I said. It doesn't matter. What you mean it doesn't matter? It does not matter. You don't know? Something came out of your window. Something came out of my window. Okay. You're good at repeating. What if it was saliva? It was not saliva. Oh, know. it was not saliva. But you just say you don't know. Now you know it was not saliva? Stop yelling. I'm telling you what right you now. What you mean stop I'm yelling? You right I'm now. sorry about that, but I Bring speak like that. No, you don't. I'm, what? What's your first name, bud? What's your first name? Your first name? Who are you, Sergeant? Supervisor. I'm the supervisor right now. You're the supervisor right now. I need somebody above you because you don't know the law. Nobody above me. I don't know the Nobody law. Nobody above you? Who's above me? I it's need me. somebody above you because I ain't giving you none of my information. I'm, I'm okay. okay. You do this one of two I'm ways. You give me your name and information. Or I you already did you tell you as we speak. So you're ready. I'm here against my will. So that's nothing new. All right? It's really simple, bud. What's gonna Listen, happen? Can you is, just finish your stop with him? Cause you know you're taking it on me, my guy. I'm not taking that out. Uh, all right. But you threw something out the window. That was the secondary shit that you said. And then you said you don't know what I threw. And then you said a package, or it could be saliva. It could have been a hook. One of those things. Of a smoker. One of and those like, things. I'm, not, I'm pretty sure it was that. Okay. So this is what's gonna happen. I just need somebody above really you, my simple. guy. Really simple. There's no one above me. I need somebody above you. That's it. I'm gonna remain silent after this. If that's, that's what you fine. want me to do. That's fine, but let me just explain to you. What's going to happen is, right now you're being physically, you're, gonna, you're detained on the traffic stop. You're going to be physically detained in handcuffs. I'm going to take you down, in get handcuffs. you fingerprinted so I can identify who you okay. are and issue a citation you for hear that, guys? Okay? All right. 
Pretty simple. Oh, Pretty simple. Wise, or you could just right be now. cooperative. I get your name and you info. I find wise, out you know, who okay? you are. That's fine. I don't okay. care. That's fine. I don't care. Why wouldn't you? Care about what? About 300 people watching you doing your job. Why, why do I care? What? Why would I care? You hear these guys? That's pretty simple. I need to know who you are, identify you. When I identify you, if you got no warrants, whatever, <laughs> I give you a written warning for littering, and then you're on your way. Littering or, what? I said I wasn't littering. I said I spit out. Okay, I need you. I don't know if y'all caught that, but he's been given a choice between a written warning and a trip to jail. What do you think he'll choose? Your name and date of birth. I'm not That's giving it to you. You're going to arrest me. You're okay. going to take it the long way, and then I'm going to sue you. Okay, go ahead. And I said it on camera. That's on fine. your camera and on the camera. The casino. We're not going to the casino. You're going to take me out of the priest. We're going to do it. We're going to okay. FOIA request every single thing, and we're going to see. It's pretty simple, dude. I don't want to... Listen, wanna... focus on live. It's recorded. Okay. All right? Fine. That's a whole lot of anger over a written warning for littering. I don't want to put you in handcuffs, but what I want... If I let him in rights, they're going to hear me. That's the only thing I could do. Anything else I do, they will shoot a nigga, man. They'll shoot me. So right now, I'm coming back. I'm coming to the front of the correctional facility. He was stupid, but I think I can beat it. This next guy gets arrested for an equally pointless reason. I don't know why there's no sound here. That's how it was when I downloaded it, but it comes back. You versus Mims all the time. But what YouTube University doesn't teach you is that the Pennsylvania Supreme Court decision was overturned by the U.S. Supreme Court that ruled that the police were allowed to remove him from the car. But there's a second reason why he's an idiot. He's in Texas, so a ruling by the Pennsylvania Supreme Court wouldn't matter in his situation anyway. Okay, so that's not happening. Pretty sir? I don't answer a question. No, no, you have to step out the vehicle. You got any help? I don't answer questions. Okay. Let's go. Go this way. All of that over running a stop sign. Going through life as a stupid person must be hard. But these people do have some utility. They give us something to point and laugh at. If you like this video and you want to see more stupid in the future, please like and subscribe. Hi folks, I have a real gem for you today. We're going to be looking at a dummy who calls himself pissed off taxpayer. This Rhodes Scholar got himself arrested back to back for the same thing. Let's begin by watching him get arrested at a courthouse where he's gone to pay a fine for some unspecified stupid that he's done in the past. Hello, I'd like to pay on my fine please. That's against law. I'm in public lobby. You're being live streamed. I'm you being live streamed. So I want to point out that the guy who was just talking here was a judge. Our idiot friend cannot seem to get the hint that he cannot film in the courthouse even when a judge comes out and tells him. This is next level dumb. You see that? It says ordered. You see this thing right here? Is unconstitutional order. I don't know who's watching me, but thank you for viewing. My uh, cell 411 wouldn't work for some reason. And you're gonna call the cops, and I don't know what's gonna go on, but on the magistral fly district, I'm not sure what the phone number is. It's on my one of my uh, videos. All I want to do is pay my fine and they won't let me because I'm on my phone and they don't want to be recorded. Even though I'm in a public lobby, as you can see. I mean, all I want to do is pay my fine I'll be out of your hair. So all I want to do, you want to get rid of me, just take my money and, get, and you'll get rid of me real quick. Oh my, okay, I put my phone down, it's down. 
You know what I mean? I just want to document all my activities. I know you guys like to lie because you guys are criminals. This is hilarious. The guy that can't stop getting arrested is calling other people criminals. That's top-notch projection. My salary is funny because I'm on camera. Because criminals don't like to be recorded. Come on, look. My camera's down. My hands are free. Let's take my money, okay? Please? Mr. Bradley. Yes. How are you? Doing good. How are you doing? Good. Have you been asked to leave, sir? I'm here on business. I'm trying to pay a fine. Have you been asked to leave? I'm here on business. I'm trying to pay a fine. That's not how that works. You're not exempt from the rules just because you're conducting business. You can't walk in there with no pants and say, but I'm conducting business. These things aren't hard to figure out. By the ACLU and everyone else. I wonder if he really believes that the ACLU cares anything about his inability to understand how civil society works. I understand that. Okay, you're under arrest. Consent, and he says my person on my property. Okay, you didn't ask for your consent. Do you need my consent? No, I don't. You're in custody. Absolutely do not. That was a great ending. I love how the police didn't mess around either. And it further shows this idiot that he thinks that the police need permission to search him when he's under arrest. But he must have had fun because he does it all over again. Remember when I got arrested uh, for paying my fine? Right here, okay. But it's not unconstitutional. I just check to make sure that I'm not wrong, and I confirm that the Constitution doesn't say anything about filming in public lobbies. Then you, can take that, then you can take that up with the city, okay? You are you are it's not allowed to report. Police department. Mr. Yeah, Bradley. give him a call. Give him a guy to call. Put your phone away. You're under arrest for trespassing. No, no, I'm leaving. Mr. Bradley, Bradley. Look, I'm leaving. Get off me. Get the fuck off me. Mr. Mr. Bradley. Bradley. You're under arrest for trespassing. You're going to arrest me for trespassing. Get off <laughs> Another happy ending. I'll have to check this channel periodically to see if he has left us any new gifts. As always, if you like this video and you want to see more stupid in the future, please like and subscribe.